I want them. Hello, 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 everybody. This is your man, Jay Takashi. Here to bring you guys another episode review of Nagami no Cafe Terrace, episode 10, subtitled Dramarama. And you know how we do over here, guys. So I have a lot to cover. I'm going to try to shorten it as much as I can, at least around close to eight, maybe 10 minutes if I can. And, um, you know, and we'll call it a day. All right, there we go. So guys, in this episode, <clears throat> we are literally dealing with um, with twin sister drama. It turns out, it turns out Oka's sister stops stops by uh, uh, stops by the beach hut um, to like give, I guess, quote unquote, um, give a uh, quote unquote takes on different on on, on uh, the people of the cafe, which is Hayato. Shirigiku, Riho, Akane, Ami, and her sister. <clears throat> and, um, you know, Rika, Rika is pretty, like, ticked off to the sense of, like, she compares, she, um, she belittles, she belittles everyone in the cafe who works particularly well, you know, if for being, like, like, you know, a low peasant type thing, which is more of it, like I said, which is insulting them, all the hard work they've done. And things of that nature. She and um, like I said, she goes at the one on one, uh, one on one with like kind of like smart, snarky remarks about each one of them to the point where Oka, uh, to where Oka, uh, uh, yeah, you know, Oka stands up and actually slaps her sister, her twin sister, because she literally flat out states that you know you can't do that, you know, don't bad mouth uh, my family and um, our cafe of what we're doing here because this is actually important work we're doing. Here. And um, Rico walks off, and um, Hayato sees it as like, "What you want? Like you bring us here to give us your like sister drama and nonsense and all this stuff." And like I said, he can tell the situation for what it is, but he's just, but he's not even worried. The only thing he particularly cares about is how Oka's feeling at the end of like that quote-unquote exchange they had in front of them when they were um, in the cafe talking. And uh, so the next day, Oka can't seem to work. Particularly well because of, like I said, how how that conversation and how what her sister said left a sour uh, taste in her mouth, and also it, it's affecting her morale a little bit to where like she can't focus at work because of it. She's dropping like quote, quote, she, she's damaging you know glasses, food, things of that nature, and um, and you know she she's not thinking right to the point where like she spends all day thinking about her twin sister, like, you know, how well what can I do to fix this or whatever? Or if she even wants to apologize particularly. Hato Hato comes in, talks to her and tells her that, you know, you should like I said, if you feel that you say you feel like you want to talk to your sister, let her know what you actually do over here and actually want to apologize to her for actually hitting her. But also but also you're not mad for stopping her particularly because of which because of, you know, the, the connections and the bonds you made with us over the times. I mean, as time has progressed with us over here in this cafe. And, um, you know, she takes that advice to heart and um, she she, uh, she does it. She does what Hayato suggests. Now, also, we have Riga actually picking into the shop, actually reminiscing about what her sister told her over the phone or 
entire conversation. We have we may have seen off screen to where she said, you know, you should try our cheesecake, things like that nature. It's really, really good. And, you know, you know, things of that nature that, you know, she wanted to give a try out because she and she took the word of her sister above anything. And um and, and yeah, and Hayato notices that she was sneaking around and stuff like that, particularly. And um he gives her the he gives Oka the day off to actually, you know, go speak to her to speak to her uh her sister his ah, sorry. Her sister, y'all, I'm sorry, it's not tight. And um with that and like I said, she appears on the front you know, she appears in front of the door to where they where like this is perfect. I don't have to go. I'm gonna go. I don't have to go home to go look for you. We can actually have our talk now. So they actually have a talk, and um, Rika comes to the yeah. Rika comes to the realization of what uh, Oka, of what Oka uh, really is, how good she really is with her uh, quote unquote designs, costume designs, and she is a fashion expert particularly. And um, she uses she's using all that for for the, you know the betterment of the cat to promote it, things of that nature, and actually to show off how good she is. And Rika always felt that, like, you're kind of, like, wasting your time here. Things like that, because I feel like you're too good to be working here, particularly. Hence, at the beginning, that's what it sounded like she was trying to do. But hence, through the conversation that we're having outside through the air, that's what it really was. And also, she misses her sister. To the point where she's crying and Oka pats her on the head, like, you know, of course, you know, you know of course I love you, sis. Things of that nature. They reconcile, they make peace with one another. She comes to terms with what Oka wants to do. With her life, particularly what she wants to do with her like I said, it's her life, her choice, things of that nature, and um, R- Rika really prided herself on being on being the one to really go to uh, Tokyo U, things of that nature, because um, going to Tokyo U is like a thing in the family that they do. Like it seems like her dad, I think even the mother has gone to there. So, like I said, that's another reason why Rika, uh, Rika has such high standing for her sister, particularly not just for her. Which is why she can come off crass and kind of like arrogant and rude a little bit. I'll say a little bit all the way. I'll say rude all the way. But other than that, um, we <laughs> we get a funny. Uh, so after they get a reconcile, we literally have a part of the episode where like you know it's Spaniel etchy comedy. We get like two good dudes drunk, things of that nature, and um, we we host like yo know, my son's super cute, things of that nature. And then we have a kind of you know, crazy. And it's just freaking hilarious. I'm gonna my bad. I'm just more crazy. And then um, we have really have a we have Oka shut the door like ah she let it see yeah nah but that kind of is like she's you know she saw that your sister would go crazy but like I said a good comedic moment man. but other than that um like I said the episode the episode ends there and uh, all around it was just it was just like you know Oka stepping up stepping up and uh, stepping up to the plate and really laying down what she wants to do and. Um, Reconcile with her sister that she hasn't talked to her much and really kind of setting her straight, setting her straight up, like not to disrespect her and what she does over there and what she does at the cafe, particularly. And, um, and, uh, oh, also, I want to point something out. I always forget a little tidbit. <laughs> Hayato actually is able to pin, Hayato is actually able to distinguish both of the twins, Oka and Rika. And, even Oka was surprised. Like, how could you distinguish this? Even our mom and dad can like distinguish this sometimes. And it's like, oh, it's easy. Your habits. It's very easy for him. Like, like I said, I feel very competent about how people act, how they walk, talk, move, and things like that nature. Also, he made the fart joke that she did in the beach, which is freaking hilarious, by the way. Another Carmi moment for her, which she knows she didn't do. And that was all Carmi and shit. But other than that, um, yeah, she 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 thinks she sees Ayato Hayato in different light a little bit. Like he's cool, things of this nature. And Hayato goes on a freaking frenzy rant, like, yo, man, your sister freaking insulted me. Like, like I want to kill you too and stuff. Like, yo, I find that funny. He just he just broke the mold that she just kind of started praising him for. But other than that, this episode ends there. And um like I said, I think it was just more of a it was more of an Oka based episode and also um Oka's resolution to so set up to her sister of that nature but with that being said guys that's the end of this review so far of episode 10 of, of uh, Miguel Mano Cafe Terrace um if you're new to the channel be sure to like subscribe all that jazz check out the content at hand if you're and um guys be sure to share the video all around to anybody who loves anime content is in the nature it helps it helps the channel and also push the algorithm but with that being said y'all drink some drink, drink some water drink some green tea and um, be sure to exercise because I got to do that tomorrow.
that seriously. But with that being said, y'all, peace out. <laughs>